Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ollie and today's video is how and why you should be more grateful. And then at the end, I'm going to just run off 10 things that I am grateful for and remind myself about every day. So if that's what you're interested in, then let's get on with the video. So this video kind of came into my mind because I was sat at work the other day and I was talking to one of my bosses who is an elder gentleman and he was telling me about when he was like younger than my age, 20. He remembers when sweets, as in like sweets from a corner shop, were on ration. And it got me thinking, I was like, wow, that is insane. Imagine sweets being on rations. Like, the other day, I bought a whole kilogram of sweets. They're all gone now. But the other day, I bought a whole kilogram of sweets. And I was like, imagine if they were on rations. That is something that we take for granted. Every day, you can just go to the shop and buy sweets. That's what we could chat about why we should be all be more grateful as a whole. Number one is be grateful for the small things in life. I think we need to really realise and work on being grateful for the small things in life. Because, like, having a pen to write with. Or even running clean, fresh water from a tap because not everyone has a pen or clean water. They're such small things that we probably use every day, but I didn't realize how much easier they make our lives. Imagine if we didn't have a pen or like anything to write with. Like imagine if you had to write something, you no, know, we didn't have pens or pencils. What would you write with? I think it's about like changing your perspective and looking at everything. It's like, I am grateful for having running water because not everyone has fresh, clean running water out of convenience on a tap. I think you can be more grateful about things like that. Look at everything. It's like, imagine if that wasn't here. It makes my life 10 times easier. So I think you should be grateful for the smaller things. Without the smaller things, I think life would be a lot harder. Point two, I'd say, the big things, which seem small now, one day will seem like big and you're doing for. So like, be grateful now that you can pick up your phone and hopefully call your mom, your dad, sibling, auntie, uncle, anything. Like, be grateful that you can do that and like, do it whilst you can. Or meeting up with a friend who one day, they might not be here. Like, so you should be grateful now that you have the opportunity to do it all now. Like, be grateful that you are able to go and meet friends or family or call them that meaning of which go Hey, how you doing? One day it won't be that easy and one day they might not be here. There's one thing as well which I think is very important. I can't sleep if I've had an argument with someone because you never know what's going to happen the next day. I think as well though, like people always want more. Oh, I'll be so grateful when I get that. And as soon as we get whatever that is, we want something else now. Don't be ungrateful you didn't get the newest phone. Be grateful you got a phone at all. Do you know what I mean? Because not everyone has a phone and like obviously phone is whatever you want it to be. Be grateful for whatever and anything you ever get because someone else is sat there wanting that. Off. And I think that one's about mindset, isn't it? Where mindset is always just appreciative of everything. You gotta be grateful for like, everything, I think. And, and to me, that includes like, even like the harder things like pain or sadness or heartbreak or anything, because if you don't experience them, you'll never know what true happiness is or true love is or anything, because you've never had the bad stuff. You can never compare it. You'd never know what's bad and what's good. To be more grateful, something about I try and do, I mean, sometimes if I'm in a rush, I don't, I can't lie, I'm not perfect. Sometimes I always try and do this. Like, when you get a free minute, just go through in your head or write it down, because a lot of people have. I know someone who's got a gratitude journal, and I write down, like, if I'm grateful for that day or that month or anything. I think just, like, either every morning, go through a few things you're grateful for in life, and then in the evening, you can do, like, things you're grateful for that happened that day. You can do at the end of the month or the whole month. Or, do you know what I mean? Like, I think it's just remind yourself of things you're grateful for, which you may have taken for granted, but you're like, actually, you back i'm grateful for our sofa had in the shower or i'm grateful for the human who held the door open for me once you like consciously try and be more grateful about everything i think you become a lot more positive and a lot more like wow life is very good look at, i've got all this around me which i'm so grateful for once you start doing it consciously it starts to become a subconscious thing when you don't have to work on it and then your mind is just like wow i'm so grateful for for this fan because it's hot at night and I need a fan. Do you know what I mean? Things like that. So that's kind of all I've got to say about being grateful and how to be because it's honestly very simple. So simple, it's so straightforward. Whether it's more than your neighbor or less than your neighbor or anything, just be grateful for what you have. It's not a competition with anyone who has more. Just be happy for everyone else and be grateful for what you have yourself. So that is kind of the how and why and the things about being grateful and how to be grateful because it's important. So now I just thought I'd just run off 10 things that I am grateful for. Number one, it's my loved ones. So that covers family, friends, boyfriend, pets. Yeah, my loved ones. So number two is my job and that is income from my work, that's income from TikTok, that's income from Instagram and that's income from brands because that means I can afford to have a great time. Number three is having running water because one, I love a shower and two, I drink a lot of water. Number four is having a roof over my head because not everyone has that and I'm so grateful I do. Number five is that I'm grateful that I know how to cook and I'm also grateful that I have a supermarket down the road full of ingredients which I can buy to try new recipes with. 
with or anything. I'm grateful for that because I love cooking. And I'm not the best and sometimes it goes wrong, but I enjoy it and I enjoy learning new recipes and things like that. So I'm grateful for that. Number six is having clothes and being able to buy new clothes if and when I need them. Number seven is just being healthy as like a human being. I'm like, I'm quite healthy. Number eight is full of the positivity and the love that I receive from my friends, my family, from TikTok and YouTube and things like that. Like the positivity and love I receive, I am so grateful for. Number nine, I am so grateful for laughter because I love laughing. Laughing is like my favorite thing to do. Just sitting, laughing, chatting, it's free. And it's like, it just makes everyone feel better and happier and it's just, a great time. And number 10, I'm grateful for that I woke up this morning and I'm here now and I'm grateful that I just get to live another day. So that's today's video. I hope you take something away. I hope you become a little bit more grateful for the small things or the big things. Thank you so much for watching and I'm grateful for you for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next Sunday with another video. Thank you.